teach you how to get a little bit more definition around the eye area. So up to this point, Arendis has his airbrush makeup on along with his high definition stick concealer and his blue undertone corrector underneath his eyes as well as, as well as his beard area for his beard shadowing. So right now we want to give just a little bit more definition to the eye area, but we don't want it to look like eyeliner. That is not the goal, especially with high definition television. You have to be so careful with the color that you add that it's extremely blended and natural looking. If you can see it in person, you can see it in high definition television. So baby steps with application on this one. So we're going to come in with the soften it brush, which is this little brush right here. And we're going to add a little bit of color underneath his eye just to make his eyes really pop and come forward. This is great on medium to light haired men um, or if you had dark hair and you're starting to fade a little bit due to salt and peppering and graying, we're going to come in here and add a little color. So I'm actually coming in with the color Tortuga. Tortuga and cobblestone are the most popular colors for adding a little bit of lower definition on men's eyes. So Arendis, you're going to do your other eyes, so I'd like for you to watch this part. So you add just a little bit to the tip of the brush, and we're coming right here. Now you're coming actually underneath your eyelash. And for the iris of your eye, good job. For, um, and you just put it the width of the iris or the color of your eye. Actually, this part might be easier to just look up. There you go. Yeah, look all the way up. adding a tiny bit of definition. Again, this is just to define his eyes and make them pop on the air. So the key is to do a really thin, fine line right underneath your lower lashes. You do not want this to be thick or smudgy because then it will be more apparent and might show up in television. So you want to just use the very tip of that brush and just little fine blending strokes in order for to get the correct definition. Let's take a look. Good. Maybe just a little bit more. Notice I'm going back and adding a little bit more. Um, it's always better to err on the side of not enough as opposed to too much. So there is a little bit of a learning curve with this. So you want to always check your monitor. When you're trying something new with your makeup, before your show, always, always have them punch you up on the monitor so you can see what you look like before the viewers see. Don't think you're being high maintenance or diva. It's just a part of the business. Look all the way up. So now he has added eye definition that really helps to bring out his eyes on camera. Thanks so much for tuning in and keep looking gorgeous.